Saddle up! A new Yellowstone 4-6's trailer featuring Jimmy and Teeter just dropped, and we need to talk all about it. The new sequel. Yellowstone might be ending, but the universe itself is showing no signs of stopping. Paramount is not done telling the tales of tough cowboys and family drama that will keep you entertained for hours. The network first gave us 1883, which debuted in 2021, and then 1923 in December 2022. They've been entertaining distractions, but now the rage is all about Yellowstone 4 Sixes. Paramount first name dropped 4 Sixes in February 2021, and now, two years later, we're this much closer to seeing it on our screens! What will the show be about? For those of you who are hearing about the show for the first time, where have you been? Living under a rock? Just kidding! Yellowstone Four Sixes is going to delve into the rich history of the legendary Four Sixes Ranch. According to Paramount's press release, the ranch was founded when Comanches were still in charge of West Texas. What's amazing is that the ranch is still operational and works the same way as it did two centuries ago. Safe to say, this has the potential to go on for many seasons. And an interesting one at that. The ranch is synonymous with raising the finest horses and livestock in the world. It's the place where unrivaled cowboys are born and where the law of the Wild West takes precedence over everything. That said, it's a very real extension of a fictional show, even though the name Four Sixes suggests otherwise. Some of you might be wondering how the ranch managed to get its name and, well, there are a few theories. The most popular involves a man named Samuel Burnett winning the ranch in a card game with Four Sixes. But ask his descendants and you'll get a different story. According to them, Burnett branded his first herd of cattle with four sixes. Side note, don't ever make the mistake of saying 6666 or 6666. A cowboy in his grave will be rolling if you do. It's always four sixes. How the writers connect this to the Duttons is anyone's guess. That said, it's worth noting that this Yellowstone sequel will carry on the Mother series name unlike the previous spin-offs. What's more, in June 2023, Sheridan made it clear that the series is planned as a standalone story. Who's acting? Of course, the story's only half the equation. The writers need the best talent in the industry to do justice to the story. Unfortunately, they haven't dropped any names about who they think is worthy enough. They most definitely have a few names in mind. They're just keeping them from us. Knowing Paramount, though, they're only going to bag the best of the best. They have the likes of Kevin Costner working for them, so rest assured, they'll find someone good for the job. One name that's been coming up in conversations is Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Word on the street is that the networks brought on Matthew for a spinoff. Unfortunately, the birdie that broke the news forgot to elaborate on that bit. Could it be Four Sixes? or a brand new spinoff that Taylor Sheridan's been cooking up in his kitchen. That said, even Jefferson White, who plays Jimmy, and Catherine Kelly, who plays White on the show, have not been confirmed for the sequel. Why are we talking about them? Well, remember how Jimmy was sent off to a far-off ranch to be whipped into shape? The place where the best cowboys were whipped into shape? Yeah, that was four sixes. Fans were expecting him to hate the place, but he ended up liking it. In fact, he decided to stay there. Wise decision because it's here where he met the love of his life, Emily, chief vet technician for the Four Sixes Ranch. Jimmy did return for season 5's mid-season finale, and fans are thinking this is how they set up the new sequel. Others think that the geniuses at Paramount are also talking about bringing on Rip and Beth. They did give us a hint in season 5, episode 7, when John asked Rip to take half of the ranch's cattle to a place with a mild winter. Of course, Beth jumped at the chance to go with him, which is shocking, because if you told a season 1 Yellowstone fan that Rip and Beth would be leaving the ranch in the future, they would have laughed in your face. Unfortunately, all of this is speculation. While talking about his fate in the Yellowstone universe, White said he wished he knew. He said that the top brass didn't tell him anything. It's mostly his job to just try to hold on to the bucking bronco at any given moment. White's tried to guess what the series writer Taylor Sheridan is doing at times, but every time, Sheridan ends up surprising him with something cooler and more interesting than what he could have guessed. So he's in the same boat as the rest of us when it comes to answering questions about four sixes. Taylor Sheridan buys the ranch. But one thing's for sure, Sheridan and the network is super passionate about the series because guess what? Taylor bought the entire ranch in May 2021. For years after his death, the ranch kept being passed down to the Burnett family after Samuel's death in 1922 until it ended up in the hands of Anne Winfor Marion. 
Who was she? Well, Burnett's great-granddaughter. She definitely got the family genes because she was one heck of a rancher and a businesswoman. She even made the Forbes billionaires list a couple of times. In 2006, her net worth reached a jaw-dropping $1.1 billion. And did we mention that she founded the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum in Santa Fe, New Mexico? And also has the honor of being inducted into the Western Heritage Museum and the Hall of Great Westerners of the National Cowboy. Fans hope that Taylor has plans of bringing her into the series because that's one heck of a character. It would be a missed opportunity to not bring a powerhouse like her to the big screen. Unfortunately, Anne passed away in 2020, and do you know what her final wish was? She wanted the ranch to have a new owner, one that would respect the ranch's rich history and look after it the same way the Burnett's did all these years. Anne was asking for a whopping $374.7 million for the vast piece of land. And guess who came knocking? None other than Yellowstone's creator, Taylor Sheridan. He decided it was the perfect time to swoop in, making it the first time the ranch has been sold in over 150 years. But don't go thinking of him as an opportunist. No, sir. Taylor's a proud Texan. He had no grand plans of changing things up. Instead, he wanted to keep things as it is, which might be one of the reasons why the previous owners ended up selling to him. Good for him, because now he's the proud owner of all 266,255 acres. Located in West Texas, the historical piece of land spans over three counties and is as glorious as when Samuel first established it. Honestly speaking, they couldn't have picked a better person to sell the land to. Before the deal was done, Taylor said that the legacy of the Four Sixes Ranch and Miss Marion's vision for the ranch are critical to not just the ranch itself, but to the rich history of ranching in Texas. Safe to say, Sheridan has a deep appreciation for the Texas ranching industry, so there's hardly any need to worry about him not appreciating the historical landmark he's sitting on. He even has plans to include the ranch in his future shows. It's his way of honoring the ranch, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for some stunning views next time. What else do we know about Yellowstone 46s? Unfortunately, additional details about the series remain shrouded in mystery. It even clued us in on the number of episodes. But 1923 featured 8 episodes in its first season, and 1883 had 10. So, based on that number, we are expecting somewhere between 8 and 10 episodes in the first season. What's more, we don't have a release date either! The last we heard anyone bring up the Ranch Four Sixes was in June 2023, and that was Taylor Sheridan saying that the production on the show is currently on hold. The second half of Yellowstone is on hold given the writer's strike, so fans are guessing Four Sixes is in the same boat. Some fans were hoping for a 2023 release in December, but that seems highly unlikely now. But when the show does come out, you can catch it on Paramount Network. Someone at the network definitely heard the fans' prayers because the previous spin-offs including 1883 and 1923 were exclusive to Paramount+. Plus. The sequel will eventually be available on Paramount Plus as well. Let us know what you think of the sequel in the comments section below and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos.